On the last episode of Dragon Ball Z. Nah, but on the last episode of Black Chocolate Be Like Pie 105 Part 9, the day had finally come for Cookie to be released from the hospital. She hit me up first thing in the AM letting me know when to come pick her up. Not even knowing that she was going to be picked up in her Tesla today. Slid to my OG crib, dropped the keys off to the green bean, almost got beat up in the process, hopped in an Uber to go get Cookie Tesla out the impound, and ended up with a driver who thought it was okay to deliver packages before delivering me to my destination. After dealing with that foolery, I successfully retrieved the Tesla from the impound. I tried to get Cookie something to eat before I went to pick up from the hospital and end up almost getting carjacked for the Tesla. How I end up getting out of that ghetto situation, God's grace. Ended up finally making it to the hospital to bring Cookie home and had the pleasure of surprising her with her Tesla. She was over geeked. I was happy to see it. We stopped to pick up my little one on the way home. Malaya ended up asking if she can go to the park. Cookie co-signed her request because I wasn't on that, but whatever. Took her to go get all her little energy out. While I'm at the park, Big Twine ended up FaceTiming me. In the midst of being occupied while I was on the phone, one of Jacques homies ended up snatching my baby up. I tried to stop him but ended up tripping over my boots, fell, and they sped off. Right after that, Jacques called me and let me know that he was out of jail. And the only way for me to get my baby back is if I murdered somebody for him. And then, that's when I asked for y'all help. Well, the people have spoken. Look like I'm about to be catching the body soon. I hop in the car head home, heart in my stomach. Cookie was asleep, which was perfect. Once she woke up and asked where Milan was at, I was just going to tell her I had to drop her off back at the crib. She ain't need to know nothing about what was going on. Shit had just got deeper than empty pockets, you hear me? For the rest of that evening, I was mute. All I could think about was my daughter and when that call was gonna come in. Cookie, would you tell me what's wrong with you? SMH, I, nothing. She, don't tell me nothing. You haven't said a word since we got home from the park. Talk to me. Remaining mum, I, I'm just tired. She, what? You need me to get you sitchy? I know you've been dry the last few days. Politely declining, I, no thank you. She, no thank you. Ain't none of my niggas ever turned down this wop. Is you cool? Fuck. Ah. Ain't nothing personal. Just not in the mood. And then I stared off into space. Disappointed and defeated, Cookie just decided to lay down and go to sleep. I'm laying there. Doze off. Next thing I know, I'm getting a FaceTime call from Jacques. It woke me up out of my sleep. I turned to look to Cookie, and she was still in her slumber. I get up to grab the phone, but I make sure to walk out the room first so she don't hear my conversation. Creeping to the front, I answer, I, what's up? He, it's time, Nick. The target waiting for you. I, where they at? He, I'm finna send it right through. Your daughter miss you. I hang up. The time had come. Wild situation to be in, but it wasn't no time to ponder about it. I called Twine. I, yeah, bro, I need you to scoop me. We gotta do something. He, bet, and I'ma bring Pipe too. A real one. He just be knowing. We pull up to the location Jacques sent me. Looking around, ah, I, I don't see who the he could be talking about. Let me text him, ah, I'm here, I don't see nobody. He, you see that old lady sitting on the park bench over there? Yeah, her. I look, sure as night, it was a lady senior citizen sitting right there, ah. Is you serious? He, 
as a heart attack beyond me i couldn't believe it looking at twine i he really want us to pop this senior citizen sitting over there he we got to get your daughter back it is what it is and reached under the seat and pulled out this big revolver i grabbed the gun from him true reality it wasn't too much of nothing that could be said at that point. I tuck it and hop out the car. The lady Pete we walking up to her. She hop up. She excuse me. Can I help you gentlemen? Ah, I, I lost my puppy in the pod. You seen it by chance? She, I been out here a couple hours. I ain't seen no dog. I'm scared of dogs. Ah, oh no. Nah. After looking around to make sure the coast was clear. Ah. Oh, okay. She, sorry I couldn't help you. Well, I hope you find them. It's time for me to get home. Good luck. Big Twan, you ain't gonna make it home tonight. I ain't even gonna lie to you. She, I'm sorry. I'm confused. Kanye shrugging and SMHing. Big Twan proceeded to pick up and throw her over his shoulder like a sack of potatoes. It was a green light for Granny. Big Twine put her down in the furthest corner of the park. I stand over, up, and point pole directly at her. She, whoa, 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 what's going on here? I just look at her, dropping her hand slowly. She, Jacques sent you, didn't he? I wasn't there for 21 questions, so I just cocked that go back. She, you know why he sent you to kill me? I wasn't there for no Black History Month facts either. She, you know I was his fourth grade teacher and I didn't pass him because he was acting up. He might be Petty Patrick for this, but it wasn't my concern. She, well he was a smart kid, but he just didn't apply himself. I ain't know how I turned it to a parent-teacher conference, but I knew I had to wrap it up. She, I knew I would eventually have to meet my heavenly father. Dramatic pause. I just didn't know it would be this way. That made two of us, but what was I supposed to do? She, do as you must, young man, and bowed her head slowly. Big Twan just looking like shit, it be like that. Meanwhile, I was at the point of tears. Things had got a little too deep for me. Twan just looked away because he knew I was about to do what I had to do. I had a child that I had to regain possession of. My actions were above me. Ah, fuck! Next thing you know, I was waking up. It was all a dream. Jacques had never called, and Cookie was still asleep next to me. It was really sitting heavy on my subconscious about who Jacques was going to have me to take up out of this shit. No matter who it was, they had to go. I laid back down, dozed off. The next morning, Cookie had woke me up with a hot breakfast. Something I hadn't had no pots of since I had got her Tesla impounded. She, grand rising, honey. Ah, grand rising, queen. How you feeling? She, I'm more concerned about how you feeling today. After a fork full of eggs, I, I'm cool. She, I know we've been together for only less than a week, but I'm pretty sure I could tell when something wrong with you. Ah, perhaps, but don't worry about it. I'm going to be all right. She, okay, Bartholomew. What you got planned for today? Ah, well, I gotta bust a few moves, but I'ma hit up Big Twan to come scoop me and then we gonna take care of things. She, oh, okay. You never told me you was BD. Looking confused, ah, I'm not. Why you say that? She, cause you clearly ain't come with the fort. <laughs> ah, you goofy as hell. She, how that old McDonald's commercial go? We love to see you smile. Ah, I, I appreciate you. She, not as much as I appreciate you for getting my Tesla back. Ah, real nigga activity. Come on, man. You know what the going on? I'm finna hop in the shower and get dressed though, babe. And I proceeded to excuse myself from the table. It was a blessing to know that she was back in good spirits. But me on the other hand, Haunted by flashbacks of my loved one being taken away from me. I was going through it. I FaceTimed Big Twan as soon as I got out the shower. I needed him to be on point. I FaceTimed my mind. Yo, 
He. Man, why the fuck did you call me with this garbage bag on your head, bro? It wasn't even the time for that out. Man, I got some real shit going on. I need you to pull up on me. He. Shit, what's wrong? I. I need you to bring pipe too. He. Pipe. I. Just slide on me. He. Say less. He knew it was serious for real. We had a mission we had to complete. And failure was not an option. It usually take Big Twine a couple hours to slide on me, but he was on point this time. He pull up. I bop in. He, bro, what the is going on? What you need pipe for? The reality of everything was settling in again. I, I'm in some shit. A different type of shit. He, you got out here looking for you or something? What's up? I already know he wasn't expecting the answer he was finna get from me. I, my first kidnapped my line yesterday and dropped my head. He what? Who the did that? With a deep sigh, I, Jacques, SMH and I, that pole that I got caught up with was his. Detectives come up to me while I'm in that motherfucker talking about it had three bodies. I hit his line while I was in there, treated me. I wasn't finna go down for that shit, so I let him know whose pole it was. They got down on him. But he's out now. And he on that. And he told me. The only way for me to get my child back. It's for me to murder somebody for him. About speechless twine. I, I don't know where to start. So you really was out here telling them motherfuckers. Then you got my line involved in this sh What your baby mama say? I, I didn't tell her. I didn't tell nobody. Cookie don't know. Nobody. He said he was going to hit me today and let me know who I need to do it to. All I know, somebody got to die today. I need my daughter back ASAP. He, well, we got to do what we got to do. And reached under the seat and pulled out a pistol. I grabbed it. I, facts. That moment felt like deja vu for real, for real. Big twine. Man, I'm starving. Let's go slide the jerk 48 while we wait. I, I, the 1067. Heat hold time. They just opened a new location in Beverly. I, oh yeah. I ain't even know. He, you want something? I, I don't think so. I don't really got an appetite for real. He, I bet we gone. If you got a friend in me was a person for real. We pull up to Jerk 48, right off of 95th and Damon Hall 10. We bop in and pimp up to the counter. Shorty at the cash register. Welcome to Jerk 48. How can I help y'all? Big Twine Hall 10. Y'all just opened up this location, right? She, yeah. He true. Muffers ain't got that uniform shirt yet, huh? She, nah, I got my uniform shirt. I just don't got it on today. He also, oh, you just gonna do what you wanna do, huh? She, well, if you must know, my baby threw up on my shirt before I left the house. He, oh, okay, cause you definitely getting that Luigi. Let's go. Her coworker, boy, don't do that. Your ass look like freeway, fuck. The cashier, that ain't freeway, that's one way. They get the dying laughing. The coworker, which show, even though what we do is wrong, wrong, wrong looking ass. Big Twine, hey, hey y'all chill on me. The cashier, but nah, what y'all want though? Big Twine, uh, let me get a jerk salmon Philly. She get the ringing up. Big Twine, look at me. You sure you don't want nothing? Breakfast one really sitting heavy on me, so I. I'll go on ahead and take the jerk chicken and shrimp alfredo. She jerk chicken and shrimp alfredo. Big Twine, I'm trying to watch my figure. Uh, Man, let me go and get a jerk salad too. Her coworker, while you sitting over here talking about some she look like Luigi with your Super Mario stomach. It's me. Big Twine, all right, be smooth. Have my baby mama come up here and beat your ass. She, boy, don't send your baby mama off. She gonna come over here and get irked and jerk. Fuck Tim out. The cashier. Okay, that'll be 38.74. Big Twan, I bet he hands shorty his card to pay for the food. She run it. She, okay, that'll be about 25 to 30 minutes. Big Twan grabbed his car. We stepped to the side. I had fake got hungry out of nowhere. 
The fool was ready damn near quicker than we thought it'd be. We step up, grab the bags, and get up out of there. We hop in the car and pot taking our portions. Big Twan was doing that jerk Philly something dirty. Even though it was a different location, that jerk chicken and shrimp Alfredo was still hitting like it's supposed to. I guess it was a good idea I did eat. Can't murder motherfuckers on an empty stomach. Big Twan, boy, this shit hit. As I stuffed my face by hand, I, they forgot to give me a fucking fork. Big Twan, I got a fork right here. Time out and threw up GD. LOL and I. Yo, at dumb as hell. Right after that, my phone ring. I pick it up. I. It's Jacques. Big Twan, well, and says, fuck to me. I pick up. I. Hello? He. Damn, what you eating over there, bro? I ain't ate all day. I house my daughter. I want for none of the small talk. He. Oh, uh, 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 she good? You know she thinks she all right in the world all wrong. I, uh, I, so where they at? He. So you ready right now, or you need another day or two? This man woke up in a playful mood, clearly. He, all right, all right, I'm just fucking with you. The target is definitely in position. All you got to do is pull up. All right, all right, send me the low. I'm on my way there right now. He, on the way. Do your big one, big dog. All right, all right, and hang up. I look at Twine. It's go time. He, say less. Pack up his food. And we pull off. We pull up to the location. Pocked and peeping, Big Twine. I don't see nobody over there. Studying the picture Jacques sent me, I. You don't see nobody that looked like a smooth Doberman pincher? Definitely what Buddy resembled for real. Big Twine. Hell nah. Wait a minute. I think that's something coming out right now. This dude bop out the restaurant. With this black jean outfit on and a do-rag. About to have at some chicken tenders. Wasn't nobody else around him either. A sitting duck. Loafing. He thought he was on point out there, but he really wasn't. It was finna be that. Ah, that's him. I pulled my hood over my head. Took out pipe. I'm finna nut that nigga right now. And then I hopped out. Before I could walk up, tell me why. Two kids conveniently... Step outside of the restaurant and come stand by him. I guess they was participating in a little after school delicacy. Jesus was clearly a fence for this man. I couldn't even do what I needed to do. I hopped back in the car. Big Twine, man, what happened? You got cold feet? Ah, nah, man, it was kids over there. That nigga Max had all them bodies and he ain't hit no civilians. Big Twine, how you know? Ah, cause her was right there with him. Right after that, the kids and food dispersed. Big Twine, he just pimped off. We on his head. We pill off in pursuit. We posted outside the store. Big Twine, man, I know this nigga ain't got us outside the sketches outlet, bro. I, I don't get no, this motherfucker go to church after this. We on his ad. What's out of baby say? Motherfuckers be in your bushes all night long for that grade. Eventually, he walk out the store. No correction. The man skate out the store, bro. The man had on a whole pair of snakes, sneaker skates. Shameless about it, too. Popped out and skated off. Smooth as hell. Big Twine, man, what type of nigga Jacques got us chasing around, man? I, I don't know, but he finna be a dead man real soon. We pulled off to follow him again. This time he had us creeping behind him through Walmart. We catch him in the aisle. He skate up to one of the shelves, trying to casually shop and pick up a couple packs of mouse traps. Unbeknownst to him, we watching his every move. He didn't know it. He took the rodent traps, stuffed them in his inner pocket and skated off into the next aisle. We following up. Close behind him, we seek refuge behind a cart of stuffed animals. He skated into a whole nother aisle. Down there about the busish, I look at Big Twine, I, out of all the things you could possibly be, you wanna be a Vice Lord Burger? His ass played too much. We continued to follow up close behind him as he went into the toy aisle. Big Twine, what are you doing? I, he grabbing some 
baby dolls, but it's them HBCU black baby dolls. I, even though I got to kill that Nick, I do honor him for that though. He hit a slight little Greek step before grabbing two of the melanated baby doll toys off of the shelf. He took his two choices before clumsily skating out of the aisle, knocking over easy bake ovens and some motion. That man was weird, but me and Big Twan still followed close behind. From there, we ended up trailing them to this little side block. We pull up and pod. Big Twan, there you go right there on the porch. Looked like his daughter just came out. Facts, he was definitely sitting on the porch presenting those two baby dolls to what looked like his little twin daughters. Ah, them twins about to lose their father. Niggas die every day, B. We watching them. The kids end up going in the house. I could tell he was happy to have seen them. Little did they know, it was gonna be his last time. He skate off. I hit myself with the Holy Cross and got ready to get busy. We bop out the car. Me Antoine, he got his hoodie tied tight over his head. We ain't want no witnesses. But he rolled, bounced up to his vehicle. It was like a little white worker van. He searching for his keys. He must have turned around. We swoop in from the south. Pack his ass up a little bit. Scoop them up. And drag them off into the alley. We dumped him in the corner of this garage. I up, he. Get the chuckling like, uh, I see what's going on now. Ah, I, I bet you do. It don't take a rocket scientist to know how this sh finna end. He, true. Let me guess. Jacques sent you. Ah, man, it ain't about who sent me. It's about where you finna go. Big Twine, whoa, 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 wait a minute. Before we get this man up out of here, I just gotta know. Man, why the f you got them skates on? Questions that needed answers, buddy. Well, if you must know, I was practicing for my daughter daddy skate party for my oldest. Aye, uh, uh, you got any more questions? Big Twine, I have no further inquiries. Get this shit over with. Buddy, I guess it's time then. Do me a favor though. Let Jacques know. He's still a bit. Now, while I'm aiming at him, I'm realizing it's easy to say you're gonna kill him a fool, but when it's actually time to do it, <laughs> buddy, you waiting on Nick? What, that's your cousin running y'all blood or something? Talking greasy, ah. Got right up out of there. Me and Big Twine bailed back to the truck. I hop in the car, instantly text Jacques. I right. job complete. Where's my little one? He, that's good to hear. Of course, you know I need to confirm he checked out. After that, she's yours. First thing in the AM. Big Twine, what'd he say, bro? Ah, right. he said once he get confirmation that buddy dead, I can get my line first thing to mine. He, bet, say less. You good, bro? Ah, right. yeah, I'm all right. Just being me off to the crib, bro. Felt like my stomach was in knots for real. He take me home. Cookie was in the crib chilling. I rush in the door. Feeling nauseous than a month. I was in so much of a daze. I ain't even know that she was on the couch. I rushed to the bathroom. She ain't know what to think. I run straight to the bathroom. Get the Earl. That was a lot. I don't know how some people could do that shit on the regular. Cookie come in the bath. Baby, what's wrong? I turn around. I, no, nah, no, nah, I'm good, babe. She, what the fuck is you throwing up for? I, uh, I pulled up to the Krusty Krab. Got one of them Krabby Patties. My stomach up. Them not it for real. She, boy, come sit down. Let me get you some water. Close call. <sighs> Maybe all I need was a little bit of water and to sit down and chill. She poured me a glass, and then I went and sat down next to her on the couch so we could watch a little bit of TV. She grabbed for the remote and turned it on. The Chicago news was just coming on. The reporter, hey, this is Kay Valentine reporting live for Chicago news. Cookie, oh wow, Chicago news. Let's see what they talking about. The reporter, there was a fatal shooting today on the south side of Chicago. One man was pronounced dead. Some dude was in the background throwing up big threes. I look at that motherfucking pilgrim back there tweaking. Buddy hopped right into the news camera. He, 
on BDM, yeah, man, motherfucker, y'all, y'all shot my homie, motherfucker, know what happened on King David, motherfucker, gonna get on y'all ass on BD, shorty, on BD, shorty, cookie, Naughty want revenge for his fallen homie, the reporter, I'm sorry that that happened to your homie, buddy, that's love, queen, but I ain't gonna lie, queen, yo ass precious, I ain't gonna, I'm trying to see what's to you, shorty, on BD, you raw as hell, shorty, on King David, shorty, ah, his ass funny as hell, the reporter turn around she um can you send an officer over here please but yeah that's what type of time you on motherfucker just gave you a whole compliment on bitty shorty yeah ah yeah yeah all right all right, all right i see what my phone bitty he pimp off she yes well there was a fatal shooting today and we're just now getting the victim's name bruce Gordium. boy i spit out my water it was the same that i just got down on cookie immediately get the breaking down crying went straight to the flow i but but baby what's wrong she that's my brother <laughs> my blood brother wow it hit me she did tell me she had a lot of siblings right before i met one of her brothers y'all heard that never Ain't no fucking way, boy. Ain't no fucking way, boy. I need y'all help. Now, of course, y'all know she's oblivious to the whole thick of things. What should I do? Should I tell her that I'm the murderer behind her sibling? And let her know about the whole little situation? Or should I just hold that down? Drop it in the comments and let me know. And on the next episode of Black Chicago Be Like Power 105 Part 11, we gonna see what's up. Oh God. You said you laid your babies down at 10 o'clock. Oh, babe, you know I gotta spin the block. And whoop your shit. And whoop your shit. Even in the kitchen, I'ma cook your shit. Cook.